Yo, what is going on everybody? My name is Connor. You guys can call me Sapir today. I have a super informative tip video for you guys that a lot of people ask me almost every single day and that is what is the best sensitivity to use on Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now normally I just tell them hey I use a 6 sensitivity and you know that's that and I've never really made a video on it in other Call of Duties because all it was was one main sensitivity. You looked up the same speed, you looked down the same speed, you looked left the same speed, and you looked right the same speed. So it was completely personal preference and it still is but I do have some awesome tips um, that is unique to Black Ops 3 and not any other Call of Duty that will help you guys hopefully get a few more kills and be a little bit more accurate in this new Call of Duty. So if you guys do enjoy the video, if you learn anything new and you want to hit the thumbs up button or if you're new to the channel and want to subscribe, that'd be greatly appreciated and I would absolutely love you forever and give you a kiss on the elbow. So without further ado, let's get into this. So in in all the other Call of Duties, there was just one main sensitivity, and you look the same speed in every single direction. But in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, there's actually two sensitivities. There's the look sensitivity horizontal, and then there's the look sensitivity vertical. And since Call of Duty Black Ops 3 is a very vertical game, I like to have my vertical sensitivity up a little bit higher than my horizontal sensitivity. Now, you're going to be seeing my sensitivity uh, settings on the screen right now and you see I play on a six horizontal sensitivity sometimes I bump that down to a five depending on how on my shots feeling if I'm feeling really accurate really pumped up ready to play some Call of Duty I'll put it on a six like it is in this gameplay um, or if I'm you know not feeling up to Call of Duty and just hopping on stream for a few hours then I'll put it down to five but I always leave my vertical my vertical sensitivity at seven just because with the jetpacks and Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and all the different levels to each and every map and how people are always jetpacking around I find myself having to look up and down a lot faster and I think that seven in my opinion is the perfect sensitivity for me um, it, I don't really think there is a perfect sensitivity I think it is a hundred percent personal opinion but in Black Ops 3 and even Advanced Warfare if this feature wasn't there I'd recommend keeping your vertical sensitivity one to two points higher than your horizontal sensitivity just because if anyone's ever jetpacking in front of you or someone tries to jump shot you you do have that advantage over them to be able to aim up a little bit faster than if you were looking left to right because I find myself in the majority of gunfight gunfights just having to look left to right um, and not have to do too much vertical aiming but in the occasional gunfight uh, or I catch someone in the back jumping on top of a ledge or up a building or something like that the vertical sensitivity helps me follow them a little bit better get on target a little bit sooner and pick up that kill just a little bit easier also for those of you curious I do use the control freak galaxies um, on my right stick of my PlayStation 4 controller and no control freak on the left stick so control freak galaxy helps me aim a little bit better feels a lot comfier uh, and if I'm playing Call of Duty for long like really long sessions like four or five hours my thumb won't be in a lot of pain and it won't hurt and I'll still be comfortable even after gaming for multiple hours and it helps to keep on target so it is a win-win but you know this video isn't about that it's about the best sensitivity but if you are interested interested in buying some control freaks you can use code superior at checkout and save yourself a few dollars so i do hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you learned something new uh, a lot of people didn't know that you could actually change the horizontal and vertical sensitivity in call of duty black ops 3 so hopefully you guys walked away from this video with a new little bit of information if you guys did enjoy hit the thumbs up button subscribe to the channel if you guys are new hope you all have a fantastic day hope you are killing it on some black ops 3 having a ton of fun because i know i am uh, especially my live streams over on twitch.tv so those are always a ton of fun and i appreciate all of you guys that come out there so hope you guys enjoyed have a fantastic day buddy i'll catch you all later peace out